Yo ho ho sha! What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and today I'm gonna explain to you all the rarities and drop rates in set one of the One Piece card game in Japanese. So we strip them a whole bunch of set one yesterday, went through a couple cases to do some research and figure out what is going on with the cards in these boxes, what can you pull, and what's the likelihood that you're going to pull them. If this is your guys' first time here and you want to see more One Piece card game content, go ahead and hit that subscription button. It really helps me out. Now let's get into this video. So in a Japanese booster box, you get 24 packs and each pack has six cards. In those packs, you're going to get a Dawn in every pack and you have a chance at getting a Luffy Dawn. So there's one Luffy Dawn out of those 24 packs per box. Every box comes with a box topper and these are the different box toppers you can get. It's either Perona, Alvita, Cavendish, Doggo. Yugara guys, Cat Viper, or Who's Who. These are each cards that are in the set, and the alt that's on the box topper is an expanded version of the art that's on the card already. In each pack, you can get commons and uncommons, and then for the last card in the pack, you can either get a rare, a super rare, an alternate art, a secret rare, or an alternate secret rare. So each box in your case basically has a chance of getting an alternate art in that box. However, four of the boxes are gonna have secret rares. Now, two of those secret rares are gonna be your regular art Yamato, and the other two secret rares are gonna be your regular art Shanks. However, there's a chance of one of the Shanks being different, which I'll get into. Now, each box has an alternate art spot. If you get a box that has a secret rare in it, you're only gonna get three super rares. So in a box that has a regular alternate art, you'll get four super rares. But if you get a regular secret rare, you're only gonna get three super rares in that box, and the rest of the packs will have rares in them. The same way that rares have alternate arts, super rares have alternate arts as well. And in each box, you have a chance at getting an alternate art if you haven't gotten a secret rare. Now, out of the 12 boxes in your case, four of them are guaranteed to have secret rares. So that brings us down to eight boxes. Now, out of those eight boxes, you have a one in four chance, meaning two out of those eight boxes are gonna have an alternate art and an alternate art leader. So in a case, you have two alternate art leaders, and those will come in boxes with alternate arts. Now, not only do rares and super rares have alternate arts, but the secret rares also have alternate arts. So Yamato has an alternate art Yamato that looks like this. It's absolutely stunning. I'm convinced that this is the best looking card that's ever been printed ever. And the texture and foiling is just absolutely insane. And Shanks has an alternate art. Now, both of these alternate arts, the Shanks alternate art or the Yamato alternate art will take the spot of an alternate art in that box. So if you pull an alternate art Shanks or Yamato, that doesn't necessarily take up the secret rare spot in the case. You'll still get four other secret rares, but if you pull one of these alternate art secret rares, these are gonna occupy the alternate art spot for that box in that case. And then if you get really lucky, one of your Shanks secret rares, remember how I said you were gonna get two of these in a case? So one of these has a chance at being the alternate alternate art Shanks. So this is the alternate alternate art Shanks, which is the rarest card in the set. And you have a chance at this being one of the normal Shanks in your case. So if you pull this card, this does not take up an alternate art spot in another box. This takes up a secret rare spot in the Shanks box. So in this box, you'll also get three SRs. Now, if you're lucky to pull an alternate art in a box, that means you're gonna get four other SRs in that box. SRs are all hollow foil like this, and rares just have a foil border around them like this. And some of them have all, uh, parallel foiling inside of the art, but most of them are reverse hollow foil. So let's review. In a case, you're guaranteed four secret rares. They're most likely gonna be two Yamato and two Shanks of their regular art. And then you're gonna get eight alternate arts plus two alternate art leaders. So two out of the 12 boxes are going to have two hits in them. They'll have one alternate art and one alternate art leader. That alternate art can either be a rare alternate art, a super rare alternate art, or even a secret rare alternate art. Outside of the regular art secret rares, if you don't happen to pull the alternate alternate art shanks, that means you have eight alternate art slots in your case. So each box has one alternate art slot in it, unless you happen to be lucky and pull a box with an alternate art leader, in which case that box is gonna have two hits and then it'll only have three SRs because that alternate art leader is gonna take up an SR slot. So it's kind of crazy in this game, actually the chase cards are really the alternate arts. The alternate arts are very hard to pull, especially the alternate art leaders, since you only get two in a case, it's very hard to collect all of those leaders and pulling a complete set of alternate arts is very difficult as well. So I would recommend buying singles if you wanna collect the set and you wanna get all 
all the cards. I would say buy singles for the alternate arts. Probably wait until the prices settle as you all should after a set just comes out and have fun playing this game because this game is awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. Uh, this is actually, these are my work clothes. So I'm on my way into the office. I just wanted to put out this information so you guys can make some informed decisions about your one piece trading card game set one Japanese cards. But that's not my dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip would definitely be make sure to brush your teeth in the morning. It's important. Some people don't do it. It's really important to brush your teeth at night, but you really should be brushing twice a day. I like to brush my teeth before breakfast because I like to get all that bacteria off my teeth so I don't eat it when I eat my breakfast. I also usually forget if I don't brush my teeth before breakfast, so I like to do it when I remember to brush my teeth. Thank you so much. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday, happy birthday, ah, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to Lily Lee, happy birthday to it's your birthday, happy birthday. Yeah! Happy birthday! It's your birthday! It's also One Piece Day! It's also the world's One Piece Day! Happy birthday for your birthday! Yeah! Kaiga honey!